25 teams with students from Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Florida competed at Plymouth North High School Saturday. Michael Bastani, a Plymouth North teacher, organized the competition. First time we have a new arena with a new kind of sport, engineering. We've made engineering a high school varsity sport here today. And it's a permanent, permanent setup. It's not something that, that changes every year. It's as, it's as definable as a football field or a, a gridiron or a baseball field. And now it's a robot fighting arena. And um, kids are excited about it. Parents are here with their kids. It's good sport. Nobody gets hurt. Everybody's fighting to learn more. About Mike Bastoni and Plymouth North High School. This is pretty much the epicenter of a lot of robotic activity, robotic education activity in the United States of America, and it started right here in these halls with that man and the support of the community around him, the, the administration and his sponsors, Entergy, and, and all the people that sponsor. But I really would say this is one of the epicenters of robotics education for now and for the future. Teams used remote controls to drive their robots. They would battle one-on-one -on -one in three-minute rounds. Eliminated teams would then battle in the rumble, which involved five or more bots fighting at once. In between matches, the students had to hastily repair damaged bots. This wedge that goes underneath, and mm -hmm. uh, we tape it on when it gets destroyed. Oh, okay. And so we have to take off the old tape to get the new tape on. Okay. And so you're trying to get it done before your next round? Exactly. As this, this weapon here spins upward and it contacts the robot and either breaks parts of them up into the air, or if they're really strong, it just sends the whole robot in the air. A spike right here. It's uh, like replaceable. You just screw it off. And we have this plow right here, which you can just like flip people over or like protect yourself. My teacher just kind of came up with yeah. cup came up to this at the beginning of the school year and was like, "Oh, we're, we're gonna have a robot competition." You guys want to like, do battle balls? We were like, <laughs> "Yeah, we want to do battle balls." Had you seen the TV show before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. good one off. <laughs> it was great. It was really cool. There was lots of destruction. Anywhere in the country is welcome. They're all students, either middle school, high school, or college, and they're all building these robots to fight one on one to see which robot can outlast the other one in a bracket, so there's okay. one winner left. All right. Lots IQ is a high school and college um, robotics education program where the students actually participate in a real life situation where they design and build their own robots and the competitions are actual places where they test their ideas because before they begin there's nothing. Then they come up with an idea to play the game. Okay, and as you saw today, there are many, many solutions to the challenge of how do you build a robot that's going to compete and do well in that way. And um, the great thing is, is that you have to use your imagination, they have to use a body of knowledge, and then they have to go out and get other knowledge, and they can use experience from other people. And that's what's really great about the program, is that this is a, 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 there's such camaraderie among team members all around the country that are willing to help each other, even if they end up in the same arena together. It's the better, ro the, the better the robots are that they compete against, then the bigger challenge. Oh my goodness! Oh, that hurts!